Mr Batten, please. One and a half minutes. Uh, thank you. Uh, the, the UK already has effective data protection legislation. Uh, this EU legislation is designed to address less well-developed EU countries uh, and bring them up to a similar standard. These proposals are being rushed through in order to bring them into force, uh, in order to bring into force the proposed legislation on passenger name records. Uh, in an increasingly digitalised world, almost all the personal details of people's lives are held on a database somewhere and the protection of that information becomes increasingly important. The protection of that information throws up some obvious issues. The security of the information held, uh, who has legitimate access to it and how to protect it from highly sophisticated criminals. Uh, these are not easy issues to resolve. Uh, we all live in democratic societies, more or less, anyway, uh, but the state has never had such a wealth of information potentially available to it uh, and the possibility of potential misuse by it. Uh, we may feel safe now under our present governments, uh, but we do not know what the future will hold. Imagine what Stalin, Hitler and Mao Zedong uh, could have done with a gold mine of information that exists now. As the European Union becomes more centralised and undemocratic, uh, we cannot know what the shape of its government will take in the future. Therefore, the protection of individual citizens' most private in information must remain the responsibility of democratic nation-states answerable to their people.